Hey guys, it's Future Arus here, coming from the future to bring you a deck profile for Rise Yarl. What's Rise Yarl, you ask? Rise Yarl is a new archetype that's coming in Crossover Breakers, I believe the English name is, uh, which is introduces the Rise Yarl deck, which is a rank four spam deck. Um, Crossover Breakers is going to introduce Rise Yarl, and it's also going to introduce Malice to us as well. Um, this deck is incredibly powerful in the OCG right now, it's dominating proceedings. It's going to be a little bit different in the TCG because we don't have the ban list they do. They have a lot of muted cards. However, I do believe you need to pay attention to this deck because it's extremely consistent and it puts up the same board every single time. So I'm going to give you a basic deck profile. I'm going to talk about a couple of the cards that are going to come. So first of all, we play the Rise Your Cards. We play three... Ice Rizial, three Thode Rizial, three EX Rizial, and one Node Rizial. So all three of these cards are one card combos that will get you to the same end board. It doesn't matter which one you start with, they all have special summon conditions, normal summon conditions, and summoning from the hand by doing certain things, which I'll talk about later. All three of these cards will always end you with the same end board. For the purpose of the combo layer, I'll show you, will be Ice Rizal. But these will always achieve the same thing. Node Rizal is the only, like, brick, per se. Um, but it's so, every single one of these is like a searchable in a way. And we'll show you later. This is hyper, hyper consistent Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we go on to the hand traps. So we play Triple Ash Blossom. Triple Fuelos. Trip, uh, double uh, Perulia. In the OCG, they play Maxi. Obviously, we don't have Maxi, so we're going to use Perulia. Double Droll and Lockbird. I know people say to you, conflicting, conflicting, because you've got more Charmies and Droll. Obviously, you don't use the more Charmies and then the Droll. Use your brain. Double Vela and double Nibiru. So, as you can see, we've got two, four, six, eight, eleven, fourteen non engine hand traps here to go with the hyper consistent one card combos that Ryzeal offer. Honestly, this deck is just insanely consistent. That's what makes it so powerful. It does the same thing all the time and it does it incredibly well. We have such a lack of cards that are needed for it. It's incredibly good. The most consistent deck out there, I think. And that's why it's doing really well in the OCG. Onto the spells. One of the reasons why it's super consistent is Bonfire. So Bonfire allows you to search any low, level 4 or lower Pyro monster from the deck to the hand. Shock Horror, look at this. Pyro, Pyro, Pyro. They're basically all Pyros. Wow. Three Cross Out Designator, one Cool Buy. So the Cross Out Designator is amazing in this deck because you have the Nibs, because you have the Veilers, the Drolls, the Molcharmies, the Ashes. You have so many good targets for your cross out, spoiler, imperm as well, that you just, there's no reason not to play it because one card combos plus cross outs, the deck is already inherently Nibiru proof. Like you can't nib this deck. I'll show you how later, but you cannot actually nib the deck really. Um, so this is consistency, prosperity, because as long as you see one of your one card starters, doesn't matter. Prosper is going to allow you to dig for three to six, depending on how bad your hand is. Spoiler, the hand doesn't get bad. So this is really just a, oh my lord button. And this isn't going to ever happen very often. And then one talents. And then our two in spells, plug in and rise your cross. Rise your cross is the most broken field spell in existence. More about that later. Then we have traps. Triple Imperm, one Graves Diggers, Trap Hole, and this isn't Summon Limit, this is a uh, Rizeal Hole Thruster. Uh, I didn't have one when I sorted out the um, proxies, so we'll just leave that there. So this is Hole Thruster. Cool. And then, obviously, that's that. So that's the deck, 40 cards. Um, our extra deck, we go for two Rizeal Dead Nader and two Rizeal Duo Drive. Um, you only pay two of each, you only need to pay two of each. These cards are insane. Um, the Dead Nader is whenever your opponent activates a card or effect, you can quick effect, detach a material from this card, target a card in the field and destroy it. Um, it's not once per turn. When it's summoned, you can attach a card from the grave. 
so you can keep building up the materials on it. Um, yeah, it's insane. And if it's destroyed by a battle or by card effect, you can just attach one of the materials to keep it alive. And then duo drive is it gains attack and your opponent's monsters lose attack depending on materials. And then you can detach two cards, two, sorry, you can attack, detach two materials from monsters you control to add two rise of your cards to different names from deck to the hand. Monsters you control. So if you've got Dead Nader on the field, you can detach one from him and one from him to activate the effect. And then you can put materials back onto this card, spoiler, later. So keep using it again and again. Hyper consistent. And then we just got like a, a, a rank four toolbox. So Tagares, Tornado, Baguska, Duella, Exiton, Castell, um, like 101. These are all, um, the, these are all up to you. Just rank fours. Whatever ones you want to play. Ragnar Zero, um, any, any rank four that you want to play, you play. It's completely up to you. I'm just kind of giving you an examples with this. Um, but you can play any rank fours you want. The ones I do recommend you play, for sure, are uh, Utopic Ray Lancer and Trap Tricks Rafflesia. This you have to play because it this this is just insane in the deck. Um, this allows you to dodge Imperm on your Duo Drive, which I can uh, we can talk about later. Um, but these two are kind of I think mandatory because of their effects with this later. And then the next mandatory effect is Aggregator, and then you know play Zeus because it's an Xyz deck. There's no reason not to. You're more often than not locked into rank four Xyz's, um, but playing Zeus does give you that option to go into it after the turn swings back to you. Um, An aggregator is a must. You must play aggregator, and there is going to be a reason why. <clears throat> okay, so we're talking about one card combos. Let's get it started, and I'll show you um, just a one card combo utilizing any of these kind of cards. Um, so again, like I said to you, it doesn't matter how you start. We're going to start with ice here. So you normal summon ice. When ice is normal turn, normal summoned, you can special summon one rise your monster from your deck, except ice. So you will special summon Thode. When Thode is special summoned or normal summoned, uh, no, no, sorry, when it's special summoned, you can add one light power monster from your deck to your hand. So you will add EX Riziel. So Riziel EX can special win this card from your hand by sending an XYZ monster from the extra deck to the graveyard. So it's now an inherent summon. You will send. Where is he? Aggregator to the grave. Let's put this here. It's a special summon Riziel. And with Riziel's effect, you will add. Node, Ryzel from deck to hand. You with me with this so far, guys? We will overlay these two for Rafflesia. So, one, two, three, four. This is why I said you're like Nibiru proof, because Rafflesia, if they try to Nibiru, is going to allow you to send this to the grave. This is going to trigger inflicting 2000 damage. And you can't just imperm Rafflesia because it's unaffected by trap effects while it has materials. So you can't just go, cool, Rafflesia, send this, and they go, oh, Imperm Rafflesia, because you can't actually do that. Um, they would need to have, like, a Veiler and a Nib. Um, but obviously, at this point in the combo, they can't Nib you anyway. But, as I said, this is why this deck does not really lose to Nibiru. Um, now what we can do is, because we have an Xyz monster on the field, or in the graveyard, we can Special Summon Node. And then we will overlay these two, and we will get Duo Drive. Duo Drive's effect is detached from anywhere to add two Rise Your Cards. So we will specifically detach Node. We have to detach Node. And uh, Thode or Ice, it doesn't matter. And we will get Rise Your Cross, Rise Your Plug. The reason why we detach one from each is because you do want a material on here. Because if you detach two from here, then you are going to get Nibiru. Um, and before you have Rise Your Cross in play, you want to be able to keep yourself safe for the combo. 
then what we can do is we'll activate Rise Your Cross. Rise Your Cross is uh, an incredibly powerful field spell. And it's one of those rare field spells whose wording is insane. It negates the effect of a monster on resolution. The exact words are, once per turn, when an opponent's activated monster effect resolves, detach one material from a Ryzeal Xyz monster you control, and if you do, negate that effect. Not negate and destroy, negate the effect. So the reason we have one material on Ryzeal, and one, sorry, yeah, on Duo Drive, and one material on Rephlesia, is just here, we are now safe from the Biru because of Cross, because we still have the material on Duo Drive, and we have Rephlesia as well. So we are insulated from this. Then we do Rise Your Plugin to target um, Node from the Grave, Special Summon Node, and then you will attach one of these cards to one of the guys you control. It can be to Duo Drive or it can be to Rafflesia. If you've not used this and you haven't used Hole Thruster, then you can put it onto Rafflesia or you can put it onto Duo Drive if you want to use the effect for that layer. Doesn't matter. Then with Rizeal's effect, when it uh, when you oh it's it's just like a, an ignition effect, uh, you can summon one card from your hands to the graveyard, take one Rizeal monster in your graveyard, except right no Rizeal special summon it. So because we detach specifically Thode from the Rafflesia and Node from Duo Drive, we do have one engrave available right now. So we will discard one card from hand. Bear in mind this is a one card combo, so we've still got four other cards. So we'll discard our one card from our hand. Target the Thode, special summon it. And then we will overlay these guys into Dead Nader. Dead Nader's effect on summon will specifically attach Aggregator to it as a material. So bear in mind, we still have three cards to play with. So, you know, you might have, say, Call cool By, you might have Cross Out. These are obviously best case scenarios. Impum. Like, you could have Ash, you could have Mole Charmy, like any of these cards you could still have in your hand, for example, um, at the end of this combo. Because this is a one card combo and then the discard. So, you know, it's a 1.5 card, but we get additional cards through the combo. So, depending on how you want to go about it. Now, on our opponent's turn, we still have Trap Chicks for Felicia to send Grave Diggers or to send Rise Your Whole Thrust. The Rise Your Whole Thrust can destroy cards, face up cards up to the amount of our opponent's controls, um, equal to the amount of Rise Your Elixir's monsters we control. So you can pop two face up cards because you control two Rise Your Monsters, and we get to do that with roughly these effects just by detaching. Dead Nader, when your opponent activates a card or effect quick effect, detach one material from this card, target one card on the field and destroy it. Monster, spell, doesn't matter. The good thing about this because you can detach Aggregator, you can pop a card, and then on Resolution, Aggregator, negate a card as well. So you've got three pops and a negate, all just for this one, one card combo. And it does this every single time. And it doesn't matter which one of these you lead with. You will always get that effect. That's why it's super good. Like we led with Ice, for example, in this combo. If you open up with uh, EX Rizeo, you could still do the same, send the aggregator, and then when this one um, gets special summoned, add a fire, fire thunder. So you will add this one. You can then special summon this. You have to um, have a rise of your monster in your grave or on the field, which obviously you do. So then you special summon this one. This will then add a light thunder. You can make the Rafflesia here. Normal summon ice rise you'll special summon the node from that. So you will then make the duo drive again. So you will then have this exact same scenario. And then this effect will detach the node and the thode specifically to add plug-in across. So, you know, you've got the exact same combo again. And that's what I'm talking about. It being hyper, hyper consistent. And then the other one is if you open up with thode, then you can still do the same. But with thode... Um, you can, it, it's really, really good because if you normal summon this, you can add one light monster so you can still get the effect. Um, so normal summon this, add ice rise, your special summon this. You would have to send a card from the hand. This would then get this 
and then you could do the same again this would get us so they're all they all lead to the same card um this is probably the best one to lead with because it's the freest but they will all get you to the same the only one that doesn't is this guy this doesn't he's not a single card starter these three are all that's why you play three of all these and just one of these but yeah that is a look into the future with rise the please let me know if you enjoy this kind of thing um and i will do them again in the future we do spoiler have malice so we'll be looking at malice next time and we'll do like a little bit of an example deck profile for you for the tcg with malice as well um that'll be coming soon uh thumbs up like and uh let me know if you enjoy this future content